We're reviewing 19.1 Daily Task Assessment and Homework and Practice. And again, we're looking at frequency tables, converting tally mark tables into frequency tables with the numbers. So let's look at the first question here. Raj asks his classmates to choose their favorite outdoor game. His results are shown in the frequency table here at the right. How many more students chose hide and seek than scavenger hunt? Hide and seek is 14. Scavenger hunt is 6. How many more? We would subtract 6 from 14 and that gives you 8. Now again the mathematical computations are going to be your strengths. because You have those skills down very well. All you have to do is start looking at the questions, converting those tally marks into numbers, and you're good to go. The next one here. How many students in all chose tag, jump rope, or hide and seek? So you would add you would add oops. tag 16 jump rope nine that's 25 and hide and seek plus 14 25 plus 14 will give you 39 okay the only one you didn't uh, add was the scavenger because they didn't ask you that the next one is how many more students chose tag than jump rope or scavenger hunt so tag is the first one tag is 16 then jump rope is six Scavenger hunt is nine. I mean, uh, jump rope is nine. Scavenger hunt is six. You add those two, that's 15. 15 minus 16, and that gives you one. Simple. Good job. Again, look at the tally marks. Remember, the symbol right here is five. So Jade made a tally mark, a tally table to record how many people have different types of pets. Here's the tally. So how many, how many people have dogs? 5, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 14. Remember, these are 5. If you remember that, you're good. That's a universal number for 5 for tally marks. Let's go ahead and look at these frequency tables. When you're converting the tally marks into numbers, you have the boys and the girls. So these are your numbers. Check to see whether you converted the tally marks into cor the correct numbers. Check this first. So then we can check this. If, if you have an error here, then you're going to have some errors here. And if you do have an error here, check to see why you had that error. And sometimes the, the numbers will be a little bit small, the tally marks. Sorry. Just be very careful. So let's look at the first question. How many more boys than girls chose dogs as their favorite pets? So girls, how many more boys than girls? So 12 boys chose dogs five girls seven girls chose dogs subtract those two you get five how many students chose cat as their favorite pet so just look at these two and you add those two 17 how many more students chose fish than parakeets so fish fish is what 13 parakeet is what eight subtract eight from 13 and that gives you five you're noticing that the computations are very easy. Which pet got the least number of votes? So you would tally, get your numbers here, and I can just look at it real quick. It's the parakeet. The parakeet only got eight. Only got eight. Remember, you're adding both of them. The next one, how many more students chose cat or dog combined than parakeet or hamster combined? So you have to combine dog and cat and dog cat so you have to get the numbers for cat first 17 get the numbers for dog it's 19 you add those what do you get 36 right then parakeet or hamster parakeet is what 8 hamster is 12 12 plus 8 is 20 you subtract 20 from 36 that gives you what? That gives you 16. 
16. So that's all you're doing. You're just adding the numbers and working out these word problems. So did more boys or girls choose a favorite pet? Explain. All of you tattle up, tally up all your boys, tally up all your girls. The total number of boys is 36. The total number of girls is 33. So 36 is greater than 33. So you would add number of boys, number six, and that's how you find that answer. Let's move on to the next questions again. Now we have the tally marks. The best thing for you to do first is get your numbers there. So this is five. This is nine. Five, ten, fifteen. That's sixteen. Five, ten. That's twelve. One, two, three, four. 5, 10, 11. If you get your numbers already, we you create your frequency table, the next questions are very easy. We're going to ask the third grade classes in, in this high school to choose their favorite type of book. There it is. How many more students chose adventure books than fairy tale books? Adventure books was 16. Fairy tales was 4. Subtract 4 from 16 and it gives you 12. How many students in all chose mystery or science fiction? <coughs> Excuse me. Mystery is 9. Science fiction is 12. 9 plus 12 is 21. How many more students chose historical and science fiction combined than adventure? So historical is 11. Science fiction. Historical is 11. Science fiction is 12. You add those two together, you get what? 23. <clears throat> then adventure. Adventure is how many? 16. You subtract those two. Oops, minus 16, and you get 7. Okay, so that's how you're doing that. And again, it's easy to get your tally marks up here. Oops, I erased them for you, but you already have them numbered. <clears throat> so again, we have the table to use for questions 11 through 13. Again, get your tally marks and get your numbers first. 5, 10, 11. 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 10, 15, 16, oops, 5, 7, and 3, okay? And then you can answer these questions, and then the rest is just computation. Hallie recorded in the tally table the number of books that students read during the summer vacation. How many more students read 7 books than 5? 7 books is 16, 5 is 11, subtract 11 from 16, and you get 5. How many students read 8 books during the summer vacation? So look at 8. And your number seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. How many more students read seven books than six and nine books combined? So you would add six and nine. So that's eight plus three. That gives you 11. And seven has 16. And you get five. Subtract those two numbers. Well, that completes reviewing 19.1. And again, the easy part to do is get your tally marks, convert them into numbers, and then just do your computations. Well, great job. I know these are getting easier for you. You all are doing a great job. Keep up the great work. And again, if you have any questions or concerns, make sure you address them during our live sessions or through send me an email. Thank you so much for being very attentive. Good luck on your quiz.